a good report or a dashboard should have a good design as well, which should be understandable and actionable. In this video, we will see a few best practices which are very useful for a report or a dashboard design such as a background layout, color coding, images and many more. So, stay with me to understand the basic design concepts and best practices. Welcome to Data Mualim. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified for more interesting videos. As we discussed earlier a report, or a dashboard should have a good design. So, first and foremost important is the layout. We will see how we can use PowerPoint to design our layout. So let us get started. Open PowerPoint and create a blank presentation file. Delete all the default text boxes. Now let us set some background color to it, we can add an image if needed. Select more colors and set any color you like, even add a hex code as well. If we have a design template, we can get the color code from that. Just go to imagecolorpicker.com and upload your image and click on any color to get the hex code. Let me copy the code and use it in the report. However, we need a layout, we can build. So simply insert some shapes and color them accordingly. We can align them properly. I want to have a design where I need for cards to be displayed. Also, a slicer panel with a table visual. I have created a video on how to create the slicer panel in my bookmark series. Click on the above card if you want to implement it in your reports. And the layout is ready. We can design them as we need, and even different pages will have different layouts. And PowerPoint makes it very easy to do that. OK, now let us export the design. I always prefer using SVG export, as this will fit the page size and won't reduce the quality as well. Once exported, let us import it into the PBI file. Go to Canvas Background and set the transparency to zero. And then browse the layout which we created before. And there we go. The layout is ready. Now let us add the visuals on top of each shape. and our report is ready with all the visuals. Now let us move to the next design best practice, which is using icons and images. Images make the report look better. I usually use flaticon.com for downloading icons. Let us add a few icons for the card and the slicer as well. We can add images as many as we want, but for better performance and design use them minimally. OK, we are done with adding the images, let us move to the next best practice. Grouping the objects. Grouping is very necessary for easy use and a good design. Just go to view and enable the selection panel. Once enabled we can see all the objects used here. Group all the cards, images, and other objects and name them accordingly. And also order them based on their visibility. If we use bookmarks in reports, they will be very useful in hiding and visualizing objects. Themes. We can set any theme which is by default available from the tool, or we can create our theme using JavaScript. 
Also, we can customize the themes which are already available. Aligning the dataset. Dataset alignment is also very important for a better design technique. Give a proper name to the dataset, so users and developers can understand the data better. We can also create different tables for metrics which will be grouped based on their context. To create a blank table just pass the blank function. Suppose we have a set of measures based on sales, then we can create a different table and put all the related measures there as shown here. Also format the measure by enabling comma separator in values, assigning data category as well as assigning the currency sign. We can use the emojis in our reports, suppose I want to add an emoji to my page name I just copy and paste the emoji. Use emojipedia.org or unicodetable.com. Rename and paste the emoji. In this way, we can improve our report or dashboard design with various techniques. Stay tuned and subscribe for more exciting videos. Also, comment below on which topic you would like to see my next video. Hope you like this video, if you have, please click on the like button. Thanks for watching.